Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that we are just to worship God when we are in Desmond church. stage, come to the office, Desmond stage. When it, on Sundays, a lot of people think that when we're in church, you know, where the, the praise band's playing or whatever, and you're singing, or you're singing hymns out of the hymnal book, that's, a lot of people think that's the only time you worship. That is so far from the truth. Because like Javen said, we're, we're made, we're, we're meant to worship all the time. We're made to worship God, and that's just not singled off for one day at one time. And another question that comes up is, where do we worship God? Mark, where do we worship God? Where can we worship God? The church, anywhere you want. Anywhere the second one was good. Yeah, anywhere we want. But a lot of people think that church is the only place we can worship. But that is another common misconception. We can worship <laughs> God anywhere, everywhere, all the time. Everywhere. Did I ever say that? <laughs> Everywhere. We can worship him all the time. And, and you know, he's worthy to be praised all the time because of just how awesome of a God he is. Okay, so we are to worship when we are in God's presence. When do you guys think that we are in God's presence? Nathan? We're always in God's presence. So that gives us the free pass to worship God like 24-7. Which rocks. It rocks. <laughs> so, whenever we are in God's presence, we are we are supposed to worship Him. And the awesome thing about that is we're we're never apart from God. We're never away from God. He is always with us. No matter all the hard times you've been through, all the bad things that have happened to you, all the circumstances and things that have come up that have tried to separate you from God, He has never left you. He never will leave you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. If you read the Word of God, that will come up so much. And a lot of people think that they're living this life alone, that they're just kind of out there. And with no real direction, no real purpose, you know, a big bang happened and we're here. And we're just here to have fun and live and, and, and do what we want to do. But, but God made us and He loves us. He wants us to, to embrace that and worship Him. And we're called to do it all the time, anywhere and everywhere. How do we do this? How do we worship God anywhere and everywhere? Because that, I know to you guys, and to me, you know, that sounds kind of like a lot to chew, a lot to, you know, digest. How can we possibly worship God all the time, everywhere we are, 24-7? Well, let me tell you this. <laughs> okay. We can't worship God as he has called us to worship. We can't worship God as he has called to worship us without, without being saved. We are told to worship God in spirit and in truth. Okay, for a second you might be, wait, wait a second, let me talk about But think of this. Okay, where are you sitting right now? I don't know exactly the hearts of all you guys, where you are, if you're saved or not. You might have lived your life all the way up to this point. You know, you see other people, you see people at your church, you see maybe your parents, people in your family, you see them living their lives and living it to the fullest. And, and when they're at church, they just worship and they're just, they're just, when they're singing songs, they got their hands up, you know, and they're, they're, just, they're just connecting with that. And you see that and you're wondering, how do they do that? How do, they, how do they worship like that without caring about looking so stupid? Without, without caring about how they look and, and what people think of them? How do they do that? How do, we, how do we stop thinking so much, stop caring so much about the world and what they view of us and just worship God as he has called us to worship? We, we start to follow Jesus. We become saved, and he sends. He sends his Holy Spirit. God is, is a trinity. He's, he's, is three is a father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit comes into play with this when we when we receive the Father's love. We we understand what Jesus did for us. We understand that He died on the cross for our sins. We understand that we, we are sinners. Everybody is born a sinner. We are born with this hole inside of us that longs for something else. And that something else is Jesus. It just is. That's just how it is. This is reality. It is reality. And when we receive that love, 
When we receive that love, he sends his Holy Spirit to live inside of us. And it is amazing. When I, when I received Jesus about a year ago, it was about a year ago this time, and he just started transforming my life, you know, I was always so afraid of singing in church, just like, I don't know why, I was just worried about if other people heard me and my voice, you know, <laughs> I'm not the greatest singer and this and that and all these things, and I was just worried about how other people saw me if I wasn't at this place already, you know, but in reality, I was still down here, I didn't really know God. I was worried about that, but when, when I actually started following Jesus, the craziest thing happened. It was like, I just kind of started to get it. I just, I understood the Word of God a little better. I, I, I just, I had an easier time with it, I guess. I, I, I learned how to pray better. I learned how to talk better. You know, I cleaned up my speech. God, God got rid of all the nasty habits. I had so many bad habits that I had. I cussed like a sailor. I always, my mind was always in the gutter, all these things, but God sent his Holy Spirit to live inside of me, and he gave me the strength to, to do that, but, but um, it's not just a, a one-time, one-deal thing, you know. We say, we say a prayer, and the Holy Spirit comes, and the rest of our life is easy. Every single day, when we wake up in the morning, we can choose to put our faith back in Jesus or not. We can we can wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to worship God today. I'm going to live for Him. I receive Jesus' love, and I'm going to continue to follow Him. That's something we need to do every day. It's not just a one thing. It's a God sanctifies us, and we become more and more like Jesus Christ Himself. And that's what we're striving for. Okay. And what? Just as we go out through the day, I just want to challenge you guys to worship Him. 24-7. Worship Him all day. I know it sounds hard. I know it sounds hard, but, but if what we are doing honors God, that can be considered worship. So do everything you do to bring pleasure, to bring honor to God, whether it's your schoolwork, you know. Don't, don't cheat. <laughs> you, know? you know, just focus on God and try to honor Him. Okay, I want to close in prayer, but real quick, I just want to say that we want to have a worship night really soon. Like, all of FCS and, like, all of everybody. We're going to meet at somebody's house, and, like, somebody's going to play guitar or something, and we're just going to sing and praise God, and we're going to go out into the school, and we're going to praise God, and we're going to be different than everybody else. And we're just going to love him to death. Let's pray. Father, you are so awesome, and your word is amazing. I pray that you would open our eyes to it and help us to uh, just cling to it and fall in love with it, Lord. Help us be lights in the school, Lord, and if any one of us is on the fence, Lord, about following you. I pray that you would take down that barrier, Lord, and open our eyes and allow us to just receive you as our Savior, Lord. Send your Holy Spirit to be with us today and to help us worship you, Father. You are awesome. In your name we pray. Amen. If you would.